All right, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome to the George Washington High School field in Washington Heights, where a very intriguing matchup awaits us this afternoon, where the George Washington Trojans will take on a division rival, a division rival, Luperone High School for science and math. We can't wait to watch this game. These two teams are, are strong rivals. They're literally right on top of each other. George Washington coming into this game, still undefeated at a perfect 13-0, looking for win number 14 today. Luperone sitting right behind them at a 12-1 record. This is gonna be a very fun and tricky game. You know, it's been a minute since, you know, we, we've been broadcasting and this team has been playing very good baseball. Talking to my boy Raymond over here. I mean, what, what's just making this team just like so effortless and just so hard to beat? I mean, like the, what the coaches said, he, you know, they play by heart and they know their goal. They know their goal where they need to go. They, you know, made a determined to make it to Yankee Stadium in that championship game and they want to take home that chip. So, you know, and Capon can say it like time and time again that George Washington play with heart and they also play aggressive baseball. And you had these two combined together. You know, it's good. It's gonna be a good matchup. I can't. I, you know, we've been. They've been talking about it since day one against. You know, these these teams like Luperone and James Monroe coming up in the next few days. I mean, you know, going against Luperone and and their record. You know, they their only loss was to James Monroe. They you know they beat every team. You know that they play so far. I mean, how it, what 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 approach is George Washington gonna have to do to to try and pull up a victory today? They gotta be very smart. They gotta be very fast because Lopon is another fast base, uh, very fast baseball team. They're gonna be stealing base hits. Um, they're going to capitalize on that also. They play the same type of style as George Washington, and they just had to, you know, find a way to shut them down before the bleeding starts. <laughs> yeah. That's the feeling that I have going on, um, going with this game today. That's going to be very exciting. I think this game is going to end in a 1-1 one, one distance. You say 1-1? One, one? You one, think 1-1? One, 1-1 one? One distance, yes. All right, all right. And uh, the reason why they lost to Jay Monroe, because, you know, Jay Monroe is another tough team. Yeah, exactly. And these are just supposed to play them. They were phone and they were second. They don't win this series. Uh, it's going to be very impressive. Gonna, it's going to be a fun matchup. Guys, thank you for joining us this afternoon. We'll be back for first pitch. George Washington versus Luperon next. All right. 
All right, so as the George Washington starter, Elvis Garcia, will be on the mound for the home side today as he looks to pitch another gem this afternoon. Comfortable weather today, 74 degrees. And it's just going to keep going up from here. Uh, let's see, the wind may have a factor today. Um, I believe the wind is blowing from like the outward position. It's blowing on like towards the right field. Uh, the right well, field. according here, 19 miles east. So that would be about to the e to right center field. Yeah. And I do feel a little bit. So let's see how George Washington attacks today as the first pitch is just underway in a couple of minutes. And not to mention, the wind is picking up on my mic, so it's definitely very windy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so leading off for Loop Rome will be number 14, John Jimenez. Stepping to the plate. Starts right now. As the first pitch from Elvis is called a strike, and we're underway from Washington Heights. As the count is 0 and 1. Here's the 0 1 from Elvis, and he got him looking for strike two. So, two quick fastballs to start the afternoon for Elvis, and he's already ahead of the count 0 and 2. I'm surprised they found that corner right there. Here's the 0-2, just down low. First ball of the at-bat, count one ball, two strikes. So here comes the 1-2, it's right to Elvis. So a line drive and a nice play from Elvis and there's one down to start the game. Talk about a very quick reaction right there, what an easy first out. As a pitcher, you, you know, it's funny. He was going to throw it at first because he thought it put, must have hit the ground. Yeah, he didn't of, even think it was a line drive. Yeah, I kind of saw that. It was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so anyone in the chat today? Nope. Here's the first pitch and a foul ball out of play for strike one. Here comes the 0 1 pitch now. And a swing and a miss for strike two. So, batting second for Lupero will be number five, Jose Campos. If I said that name right, he is down in the count 0 2. And he takes the pitch up for a ball. Elvis coming, here comes the one, two. And a pitch high. And the count is even, one ball, two strikes. It looked like he was about to tag the umpire for some reason. Or excuse me, two balls and two strikes. So here comes the two, two pitch now. And he caught him looking, and there's the first strikeout for Elvis. There's two down in the top of the frame. Talk about a really quick, uh, you know, a strikeout. He found the pitch. His pitch is found the corner of the strike zone. So it's a good start from Elvis. Line out and a strikeout. Good start. Yeah, definitely. He's one of those very So now, uh, batting third, number 13, Christian Baroya. And he takes the breaking ball off the plate for ball one. Oh. 
It's a good start for Elvis getting the first two outs. Yeah, it's getting tricky after that. 1-0. <laughs> and, ooh. Yeah, it looked like the ball it just hits the, the gate and just sticks there. It just sticks. That was a perfect catch from the fence, I got to <laughs> Good catch from the fence. 2-0. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the pitch is in the dirt and 3-0. and oh. So after getting the first two outs for Elvis, Christian is battling here, and he's ahead of the count 3-0. and oh. And the pitch, and fo a four-pitch walk. So a two-out walk from Christian, and he swings the bat over to Ronald Alamarzar, the first baseman. So let's see what First walk of the afternoon given up by Elvis. Let's see what G, uh, Local One can do with the man on base. Will he try to steal base just like GW? See how that. Let's see, see how aggressive Luperon will be with two outs. And the first pitch is off the plate for a ball. So five straight pitches off the plate for Elvis as he looks to rebound here with the runner on first, two out, and the pitch. Off the plate again. So 2-0 to Christian. Christian digs here with the runner on first, two out. After Elvis getting the first two outs, he walked the batter on four straight pitches. Here's the 2-0, and it gets away. And the runner will advance to second base. So a wild pitch, and the count is 3 0. So Luperon found himself in scoring position after two outs. So Luperon with a runner in scoring position after a two out walk and a wild pitch. And now here comes the 3 0. And it's swung on, hits a left field, and right there is the left fielder to make the catch, so Austin gets out of it, giving up just the, the two out walk, but that'll do it. Here come the Trojans, a scoreless first, pitch by Elvis. We'll be back from Washington Heights. Yep, this is Franklin. So Franklin will be leading off for the George Washington Trojans in the bottom of the first after a scoreless top of the frame pitch by Elvis. 
And the first pitch to Franklin, and he gets hit by the pitch. So Franklin starts with a hit by pitch, and he will go to first base. So the first pitch of the game from the pitcher Angel Miranda is on the mound for Luperone, and a hit batter. So now digging in is Winchamil Garcia. I mean, you know this team a lot. You know Luperon. I mean, you know, you know the history between Luperon and George Washington. I mean, you know, what what do you know about Luperon? What can you tell us about Luperon and how they play baseball? Very, very meticulously. Um, he's really into details. He likes to make sure they he's professional. He likes the best of the players. And he likes the weakness, and the weakness where he capitalizes, and he stays on the boys. And he lets them know that's your weakness. We can work on that. His biggest thing is team, and his team. There's no such thing as a like a Michael Jordan, like an A Rod. You know, that's not one. It's not just one player. That is correct. Yeah. So after a first, after the first pitch of the game. Franklin was hit by it. Winchermill is down in the count 0-2, and, and he strikes out. So, good. So, because you have both good offenses. He's just really who comes down to be the best pitcher. And the pitch, as Gregory fouls it off, as Franklin was heading to second. But he'll jog back after the foul ball. Yeah, definitely did. Looks like Franklin's ready to jump over any opportunity to go. He had the. So here's the pitch, and a swing and a pop up. Playable for the second baseman, and he makes the catch for the second out. And now Dave. stepping to the plate will be Ramon Jimenez, a.k.a. Big Baby, as he's working with a runner on first and two out. you got to be very careful how he pitches to him. Very careful. As it takes it a ball, and Franklin is advancing to second, and he is safe. Did you see the throw for that back catcher? Did you see that how was, he picked it up and he just swung it? That was a good play. He made it close. Yeah. He made it close. But Franklin is on second base. And the pitch. And Ramon takes ball one. Ball, ball two, excuse me. So Ramon is ahead of the count, two balls and no strikes, as he looks to put the Trojans on top in the bottom of the first. The 2-0 is on the ground and through for a base hit. Here comes Franklin. Throw to the plate is not in time. Ramon advances to second, and now the ball is thrown away into the outfield. Carbone is giving Ramon the wave home, and he will score. George Washington jumps on top. They lead two to nothing in the bottom of the first. James, let me tell you what Rico Yeah, what, what happened there, man? Because. <laughs> this is not what he talked about. He tried too hard. There was no reason to throw the game. And he threw the ball out the wild pitch. If it comes out to the end, this right there score cost them.
I mean, that possibly has to go down as an error. I think they would probably, in my opinion, I think they would probably give Ramon second, but the error throw made him come home. It will probably go down as a dub, a two-run double or an RBI double and then an error. So what a start to this game for George Washington. They jump on top and lead 2-0 as Austin pops it up and out of play. I think it's 2 1. Two strikes, one ball. And the pitch. As Austin takes it up and away, and the count is even two balls and two strikes. So Austin digs into the plate with nobody on and two out. He looks to get on base and extend the inning. The pitch is shot into the gap in right center field. And the right fielder will have to play it off the wall. And Austin with a two out double continues the inning for George Washington in the bottom of the first. That ball was shot into the gap and the right fielder had to play it off the wall. He couldn't even make a catch. And now Austin with a double and it will set up Nicholas Cabrera with a runner on second and two outs. The sixth batter to bat in the inning, the pitch. High and away for ball one. As the throw is second, it goes into center field, but Austin will Hold put. If he would have taken it, he would have got tagged. So Austin, with a booming double to right center, has him on second base with two outs. And the powerhouse of Nicholas Cabrera, if you remember, Nicholas had a week of his life where he had back-to-back -back home runs, where he had, excuse me, two home runs in two games. So let's see if he could do that here. Now here comes the 2-0. And it's looked at for the knees and the first strike of the inning. Excuse me, first strike of the at bat. If you notice, Rico's at some time. And now it looks like the manager is talking to the home plate umpire about something. They had discussion that last throw, that last pitch. And now it looked like the coach tried to call the infield umpire in, but the home plate umpire told him to stay right where he was. And they're still going at it. Now it looks like Pena's pointing to the gate, and now he's going back to the dugout. As the umpire possibly explain to him what happened. He looked like he was pointing at the gate. It looked like he was probably talking about the pitch. I think so. Something about that he didn't like. Yeah. And the pitch as Nicholas fouls it for the second strike of the at-bat. Here's the pitch as Nicholas once again fouls it off and out of play. Got to tell you, he's trying to stay on. He's, he he's staying on. He's looking for that edge. He's, he's staying on top of that ball. That's what it's got to be like the fifth or sixth pitch of the at-bat here. And the pitch as Nicholas gets hit by a pitch. Uh, I think that's a problem now. 
The umpire's gonna discuss it. And now there's gonna be a discussion with the home plate umpire. So the second batter to get hit in the frame. So first it was Franklin and now it's Nicholas to get hit by a pitch. It's, uh, if you notice right now, Benya's coming up to the mount, having a conversation with both of them. Actually, he went all infant win. And now, I Pena, know number 24. He's going to tell him this word about each batter. Let's get back into the game. Let's focus what we've been practicing. We're letting, this, we're letting the game get, get out of our hands. He wants everybody to concentrate and think about the fundamentals. Let's get back to the game. Make the play, get the catch. What he's going to tell the, the pitcher. Let's get let's get the, let's get this inning over. Let's pop rise in, concentrate, focus. That's what he wants. Yeah, there's already two outs in the frame, and George Washington is able to do some damage here. And two outs. So now stepping to the plate, the left-handed batter, Michael, for the catcher. As he has first and second with two outs. And the pitch is down and away for ball one. is already the seventh batter to come to the plate here in this frame. The 1-0 is shot and foul out of play. is off the plate. The catcher tried to position, he didn't get the call. And it's two balls and one strike. He got caught staring at that ball, you know that James. Yeah, he did. The umpire called it a ball though. As Michael aways and gets away from that pitch and now it's three balls and a strike. And now the ball is thrown into center field. Both runners will advance. And another and another errant throw. Right now, Looks like nobody was covering second base. Um, yes and no. It was an overthrown pitch again. Another error. But if you notice, he was going to get tagged going home. So Cabone skip a stop from at third. He was going to go and dare and take it. Nicholas looked like he was going to run to third. He wanted, told you, this is what this team does. They love to play aggressive baseball. So now, George Washington has second and third, and now a walk. So the bases are loaded. And now Juan digs in, and now looks like George Washington has a pinch runner here. So the bases are loaded. For one. This is a situation, I'll be honest with you, that Benya doesn't want to be in. But at this point, the pitcher got to get him out of this, this inning. And he's kind he's, he's doing And this too is much. all with two outs. Me, as a skipper, I will tell him, forget about the persons and bases. Concentrate on the batter. Because this is what happened. He overthrown, man wasn't looking, but he overthrew the ball to second base. You put yourself in a hole already, even though. Like if you're Luperone, this is all with two outs. George Washington is. See, concentrate. And on there's the 0 2 now. And the pitch off the plate, low in the dirt, and the count one ball, two strikes on one.
So Juan digging in with the bases loaded and two out. One, two is high, and the count is even. Two balls and two strikes. What an inning for George Washington, getting on the board with two outs and not fighting as Juan gets caught looking with the bases loaded, and that will end the frame. What an inning for George Washington. Eight batters come to the plate, and two runs will and two runs scored. We head to the top of the second. It's two nothing Trojans. We'll be back with more George Washington. I I, I wouldn't want to be in that huddle right now. Yeah, exactly. So as James gets ready, Luke Pagos takes the plate number two. At this point, like I said before, he had a little huddle with them that I don't think I want to be part of. But I know he told him, let's focus now, put it past us. Let's be aggressive in the plate now. Let's put some bases unloaded now. Will be Renee Ferreira, the shortstop for Luperon. First pitch is called the strike, and the count 0 and 1. Elvis being very aggressive here. They're probably one of the strongest lineups in the city. The third baseman is coming in, but it'll result in a foul ball. He's up, he's ready. Here comes the throw, James. And the pitch. Skips in the dirt for ball one. So one ball, two strikes on the Luperone shortstop. And here's the pitch. And the pitch is popped up. Winchamil, he makes a nice play out in shallow right center field for the first out. It's number 10, James, on the lineup now. So now stepping up to the plate will be Abrahan Taveras, the catcher for Luperon. And the first pitch, and ooh, made him spin around for ball one. <laughs> spin around, boy, he's gonna get a little wake up hard. call right there. Hell yeah, he was because he's too close to the bait to the plate. Throw the ball, make sure he's back off. And the pitch, and it's called the a strike. As another pitch right down the middle, and the count is even, one ball, one strike. And the pitch, and it's down in the dirt. And Elvis is down in the count, two balls and a strike.
And here comes the 2 1. And it's lined right to the second baseman, and he bobbles it. Let me tell you, I love this so now. Tavares will reach. That happen. It'll probably go down as a base hit. It sure is. And Luperone has a frame, or excuse me, with a one-out base runner. James number four on the plate. So now stepping to the dish will be O'Neill Polanco, the left fielder. Gets his first at bat this afternoon. By any chance, how many times did the Yankee, uh, I say Yankee backs here. <laughs> George, the Trojans went through their lineup already. You know what's crazy? They went through eight batters in the Excuse bottom language, of the frame. Folks. Eight batters to start that, the game. That's a lot. But that means good for the Trojans. Yeah. Everybody got a shot at. And the pitch is high and away. Oh. And the pitch gets away. And a wild pitch advances the runner to second base. And he will stay at second base. So it looks like Pedro Peano is at second base. It looks like Luperel put in a pinch runner here. And the pitch, high and away for a ball. Luperon looks to get on the board here with a runner in scoring position and one gone. Here's the pitch. And a little taunt. from O'Neill Polanco. As he looked at Elvis and said, yeah, buddy, I'll I take that you, walk. I, I, I find it kind of fair. I think he's being fair on both sides, pitching, I mean, repping the game okay so far. Number three so, on the mound. So now stepping to the plate will be Angel Miranda, the pitcher, getting his at-bat here, the number eight hitter. And the pitch is off the plate for a ball. I feel, I feel James, I think I'm gonna find a little problem. I get a nice hit here. I could be wrong, but I have that little feeling. Well, there's they only one out in the inning, yes. and Luperone has first and second. And pitch, runner is going, throw to third is not in time, and both runners will advance. So Luperon has something here with second and third and one out. Tie it up. They're trying to go for the tie. As they look to even the score here in the top of the second. Number three just need, need a nice little tie, a nice little hit. Those two boys be coming flying down. And here comes the pitch and a strike. So a good pitch from Elvis gets Angel looking for the first strike. Now here comes the pitch and he got him. So Elvis with a quick strike. It was, it was a strike. It was definitely a that strike. Was, it was I was a late call from the umpire, but he called it a strike.
Now here comes the two strike pitch from Elvis. And it's off the plate in the dirt for a ball. So it looks like a full count here. So full count, count. With second and third and one out. Two balls. And the pitch. Elvis missed it. Hey. And this Luke Barone Base has loaded, loaded the out. bases with one out. And now Michael wants to go to chat with Elvis. Yep. So, I mean, here, Luke Barone with the bases loaded, one out. This is the opportunity, James, like you said. Before. You have Align Rodriguez, Rodriguez, the center fielder, coming up with the, base, with the bases loaded. You need a base hit. You need a base hit. Make the best of it. This is the. This is really going to be George Washington, the pitcher's hand, and the uh, infield to make these plays. I mean, if you're Looper on, if you're Looper on here, you have the bases loaded, you have one out. I would live with a sack fly. It's two to one. I mean, you go, you go to the frame. You try to get a two out hit. You know. That's a common baseball play. You, you're actually right. I'll, be, I'll play more aggressive. I want a base hit. You want a base I hit. I want a line drive, put that ball somewhere empty there, and make this happen. That's it. George Washington boys are fast. They'll catch that ball. They're very, very quick. Well, in the outfield, you got some pretty strong arms out there. You got Franklin out in center. You got Nicholas and Ryan. You got Austin and... And left, so you got some pretty strong arms out there. And you're right about that. That's my thing. I'd rather just get a line drive, but anything high, those guys will catch that ball quickly. And I wouldn't try to bunt. He was just trying to bunt a few minutes ago. Yeah. That would have been a wrong play. So I hope that Rico doesn't decide to play that again. He's taking his time here as he, he digs in now. Elvis coming. Here comes the 1 1. And in the dirt, and it's two balls and a strike. That's what I said before. I'm looking forward to it today and tomorrow. Elvis trying to get out. Ramon is playing the infield in. Pitch, swing and a miss, and a strike. Strike two. Michael likes that. I think it's 2-2. Two, two. And now, it's two balls and two strikes on the Luperones center fielder. <laughs> and the 2-2. Two, two. He got him looking, struck him out. And now Elvis can get out of this inning without allowing a run. What a masterpiece from Elvis to strike out a Lion Rodriguez. And now we go back to the top of the lineup with John Jimenez, who his first plate appearance really didn't go for him as he lined out right to Elvis. as he takes the first pitch for a ball. Now here comes the 1-0 pitch from Elvis and a swing and a miss for the first strike of the at-bat. Count is even one ball, one strike. So now you really have to be aggressive here because now you have two outs, so you really need a base hit. I would tell the batter to just relax. You're doing too much. Just look for the shot and just make it happen. Don't do too much. Just look for the shot and get it. That's it. Relax. You know, play your game. Two balls, one strike.
And the pitch skips in the dirt. And now the count is three and one. So Elvis is down in the count, three balls and a strike with the bases loaded and two out. As he looks to get out of this inning without allowing a run. Right below George Washington, the 3-1 is shot and oh what a catch from the third baseman Gregory Mello nice play to end the inning what a play from Gregory Mello to end the inning what a pitching gem from Elvis Garcia to get out of the frame without allowing the run without without allowing a run we head to the bottom of the frame it still remains a 2-0 Trojans lead. We'll be back more from Washington Heights. As we um, about to start now, the Trojans take the mountain, James. And you see the conversation around the way, James. The boys from Purong are having a conversation that the Empire is approaching them. The Empire just want to get this game over with. As the game goes on. start right now <coughs> first throw a tip off again they look how we begin man on first with a base hit going back to the foot to it why are you trying to catch the ball going out mano with a one hand Lineup an infield single from the bottom of the lineup as Franklin swings and misses for the first strike. So George Washington already gets their leadoff man on. For that's Brian Mello standing at first base. And now the leadoff man Franklin Rodriguez as the pitch gets away and Brian will advance to second. So an infield hit and a and a wild pitch has Brian on second with nobody out. Here's the pitch. Franklin lays it off. It's two balls and a strike. To the center fielder for George Washington. His first at bat, he got hit by a pitch, so let's see if he can, as he checked his swing, and now it's three balls and a strike. Three, one. 
Hawks. He checked his swing, that's why. Yeah. And the pitch. Franklin swings and misses. Struck him out. And he's the first strikeout victim of the inning. So now Wintermill will step into the plate. His first that bat didn't go well for him as he struck out. Now Brian gets right back to second base. And the pitch. Wintermill takes the strike. And it looked like he didn't like that call from the umpire. As the count is no balls and a strike. And the pitch. Skips in the dirt. A nice catch from the catcher to save an error as Brian has to head back to second. And the pitch as Wintermill takes a strike. So Wintermill down to the count, one ball, two strikes. As Wichamil hits it in the left field for a base hit. And Brian will stop it at third, and Wichamil picks up a single. Good piece of hitting from Wichamil, being down in the count and just hitting it right through that open area between shortstop and third base. Now George Washington has first and third with one out. And now stepping up is Gregory Mello, who made that nice play at third base to end the inning. Wichabill is running, and they'll let him steal second base. So a stolen base for Wichabill Garcia. And the pitch, as Gregory swings and misses on the fastball for a strike. Man, this is a nightmare. <laughs> pitch, Gregory pops it up on the infield. The shortstop is calling for it, and he makes the catch for the second out. Here's big baby number four. And now, Ramon Jimenez steps into the plate, who had that crazy play with the RBI and an error on Luperon. First pitch is called a strike, and the count 0-1. As Ramon pops it up, the first baseman makes the catch, out. and that will end the inning. So George Washington is held scoreless here in the bottom of the second. We head to the top of the third in a 2-0 Trojans lead. We'll be back.
number five takes this takes the plate for Luke Perron. James Betts. So that would be Jose Campos to the plate. As the first pitch that was not sails good, away. In the first over throw Michael's he, head. That was like really high. Yeah, sailed over the catcher's head. And the pitch is away and off the play for a ball. 1-1. One, 2-1. One. Two, one. Two, two. Okay. He's going for a bunt. No, three. 3-0. Three -oh. So now the count is 3-0. and oh. On Jose. And the three out is away and off the plate. So another four pitch walk given up by Elvis, his fourth of the game. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, the skipper got one warming up already, already in the, in the pitching. Having a nice conversation, Empire's up to going to the mount. James. So it looks like, balls. yeah, they switched baseballs. So. I don't like know who's pitching over there, warming up. I think so too. They got him warming up. All right, the mount now for Rupert on number 13, James. Number 13. Yeah, that's Leo. Okay, they're going for a bunt. And the pitch is for strike. As Kristen tried to go for a bunt. It's, I think they're trying to go for a sacrifice hit. A they're probably bunt. seeing because George Washington is playing the infield pretty back. Here comes the 1-1 one, one before that. Look over to first. Oh. And now it looks like a balk was called. And now the coach is coming out to question the call. And the home plate umpire is telling him to stay back. So I think he was about to pitch and he came off the mount. Oh, and now they're going to send him back. So it looks like there was some miscommunication between the two umpires and they sent the runner back to first. And the pitch. Breaking ball got him looking, or excuse me, got him swinging. And there's two strikes in the at bat. Elvis looking for his third strikeout in this at bat. <laughs> it's a lot of commu communication going on on that field. Yes, yes. And the pitch, another break of pitch got him swinging, and there is strikeout number three for Elvis. I like how Elvis went with the breaking ball and then he pitched the, the same pitch right after that. But did you see the, 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 the amount of authority he threw that ball? He was so confident that that was it. And he knew that was the pitch. Definitely. Back to back breaking balls. And now the ball gets away and the runner will advance to second. A lot of wild pitches in this game. In the last, yeah, in this inning, yeah. Yeah. Pitcher's probably trying to get a grip for the ball. 
So now stepping up will be number 22, Ronald, the first baseman. Ooh, that and was real inside. It's real inside, and the count is 2-0. Oh. He backed him off the plate. And this now that ball is hit into left field. Austin is under it to make the catch. No tag up from the runner on second, and there is two outs. I just finished saying to you a little while ago, I wouldn't want Luke Perone to try to get hit out there. Get me base hit, line drive, ground balls. We got a better chance to put a boy in play. Exactly. The defense <laughs> for the children has been fantastic. These guys are not going to let nothing go by. And now the ball is thrown into center field. Franklin will throw to third, and they missed the tag runner. And now the Aaron throw advances the runner to third. Second time that's happened today. Yes, it is, definitely. And the pitch skips in there, and the runner will hold. Off the plate for a ball. So now Renee Ferreira, the shortstop, steps in and he's on the board. It's one nothing. The first hit given up by Elvis in this game. Uh, James, like I said before, only way Luperon can get a chance against the Trojans, base hit, a little line drive, just like that. Put the ball in play and make the bases move. Because that those long shots. Trojans have a good defense. They're going to catch that ball. And, they can and they got arms out there, too. Oh, definitely. You know, yeah, George I, I Washington, I they have a lot of arms. You're, you're actually right. And the first pitch is called a strike. And it's 0-1. It's called the strike as Elvis, after giving up the RBI single, is ahead of the count 0 and 2 now. Now, here's the 0 2, and the breaking pitch gets away, and the runner will advance to second. Another pass ball. This doesn't happen one too much teams. to him, so I'm not sure what's his count. I feel like what it is, it's the control of the ball that the pitchers are not getting a grip of, and they're just kind of like kind of throwing it away, not getting that, that grip that they want. And, you know, their pitches are just not getting to them correctly. Understood. Children have to be very has, careful here. Yeah, they do. George Washington definitely has to be careful. So Luperone has the tying run on second base with two out. And the 2-2. Two -two. Or excuse me, 3-2 is takes a walk. And now the umpire calls time. Oh, so I was right. Yeah, three balls and two strikes. Hey, sometimes don't listen to the umpire. Trust your gut. Hey. <laughs> You're right hey, you got to trust your gut sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry for the call, ladies and gentlemen. 
So we have a three balls, two strikes, two outs, runner on second. That is the tying run. He has to hit this ball to make anything happen. And a pitch. And a walk. So there it makes it official. So just to let you know, at this time, number 12 is relieving the back catcher from first base. So on that run, the man moved down from second to third. So now we have man now, James, at one and third. First and third at this time. So first and third, bets. So we have first and third with two outs. And number four is on the mountain now. The go-ahead run is at first base. The tying run is 90 feet away. Those 90 feet could be a long way when you can't get close. And now the runner is going. Smart play from, uh, from Michael. From George Wright. I wouldn't have thrown that ball. Just let the, let the runner take second. You got two outs. If the other one wasn't paying attention, it could be another wild pitch. You know what? Let this have faith in my, in my, in my, in my, in my um, pitcher. Let's worry about the batter on the mound. Here he goes. And the pitch is off the plate for ball one. So the number seven hitter, number four, O'Neal Polanco, the left fielder, digs in. Had a walk in his first at bat. Here it goes. And the pitch. He counted that one. It's called a strike and a little shuffle <coughs> from O'Neal. One, two. One. And now, so the count is two balls and a strike to the left fielder. And now it's three and one. And the pitch. And he just Counted. looks at that pitch. Oh. That's questionable, but it is what it is. Yeah. Here it goes. Full count. Here it goes, So here we go. Second and third. Two outs. Three balls. Two strikes. Biggest pitch for Elvis. And a walk. Bases are loaded. The sixth walk given up by Elvis today. And we got a time. Come for the Trojan. And it looks like the pitching coach will come out. And now the infield gathers in. So the bases are loaded for George Washington. So it looks like they will leave Elvis in the game to try and get out of this frame. He has to deal with the bases loaded and two outs. I'm going to be honest with you. When you would have taken him out, I, I think I would have left him on, had a little conversation, because you also don't want to take away his, um, his spirit, you know. He got him into this game so far. He, he pulled it out. Have confidence in him. Pitch is called a strike. And the count 0-1. On Angel Miranda, the number eight batter, who his first at bat took a walk. James, if he hits that ball, man, we in play. Pitch. Is fouled away, and there's quickly two strikes. Let's see who's going to get it. <laughs> 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 you 
Biggest pitch for Elvis is coming right now. Here it goes. No balls, two strikes. Big. Here we go. Oh, Ted, second time. And now Michael wants to go chat with Elvis about how to attack the batter. As we get back on, James, here it goes. He's ready on the mound. And the 0-2. Skips in the dirt. But our first ball to the at-bat, the count is one ball, two strikes. And now it's shot into Luperone jumps on top, three to two here in the third. A lot of mishandles going on. Luperone. You, you couldn't see not play very well. There's a play that you want to see. There was a lot to go on. Angel hit a little infield single to the shortstop. One run came home, and then the second runner came home to score. After Lupero playing very aggressive, very aggressive baseball. Yo, something like this happened to the Yankees uh, a couple of days ago. They had the same exact play. I remember Glaber hit an infield single, two runs scored. Oh. Or was it Judge? It was Judge who did it. It was Aaron Judge. Wow. Lupero jumps on top three to two. Two outs, number 21. Here in the out. third. And now the runner's going home. And the runner will be tagged out to end the inning. But a big play from Angel Miranda, Miranda with the bases loaded to beat that infield single to allow two runs to score. And now, Luperon jumps on top three to two. We head to the bottom of the third. Luperon on top. So I tell you that conversation that, that um, he had with him. You know he had a conversation, you told him that was not to play. He had no business taking third. As we're gonna coming back into the game, James. Luperon was taking the field, playing defense, and here's number 18 from Trojan, up in the plate. Number 18, James. How did he do in the last bat, number 18, from Trojans? That's not bad. Oh, this is Nicola. Is it Nicola? Austin, okay, confuse him. On that one, he got him looking. I 
the key is we swung late, James. I think he swung late on that pitch. Right on the third we end. Tell you, that was a funny little hop there. Yeah. Uh, now this is Nikolai, the young man. I confused the name. This is Nikolai on the plate. And when he's aggressive, but. Did you see the massive anger came out when he exploded that shot straight to second base? That's how Luke wanted to play. Line drives like that, base hits like that. And the mountain, I can't tell for a number the back, James. Here it goes. Oh, Michael. He's a good kid. Let me tell you, that was great focus and balance. He focused on that ball. Yeah. And Nicholas is running. And he will steal second. So Nicholas is on second base with two out. And the pitch. And a swing and a tip from Juan. Couple of seconds on that, on, that, on, that, on that pitch, I think he would have got the ball. And the pitch. And, ooh, that could have gone either way. It goes the Trojans' way, and the count is two balls and a strike on Juan. And the pitch. That ball was too low. That ball was too low. I'm not sure if his changeup is not doing well, but have you noticed the ball is taking a dive? Now it's three and one. And now here's the pitch. And a walk. And a bat flip from Juan as he goes down to first. So George Washington has something here. 
with first and second and two outs as they look for more two out magic. Listen, if you're George Washington, you have first and second, and you're you're Brian coming into this plate, you know, into this plate appearance. Be aggressive here. You you have two outs. You're down to run. You know, it's still pretty early in this game. I don't see this game ending in five innings. No, no, you know, if, definitely, definitely not. So I feel like we're gonna go. And, uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a good game today. I see. You know what's funny? I see extras. I feel like we might have extras. I would. I really don't want to see extra. I wanted to see a win or loss. I don't want to see extra because it's gonna be heartbreaking, man. Because eventually we're gonna go deep into the pitching too. Exactly. Now I want to play what I have, both sides. Play what we got, make the best. But if you're George Washington here, be aggressive. You have oh, two absolutely. outs. You you have the tying run, and a fast runner at second base, Nicholas. Oh, yeah, he can fly. He can fly. So. Now this young man batting, I forget his name. Brian Mello. Brian, a couple of weeks ago, you know he had a. Back to back home runs in the same area. The ball going past the pop. So, so he has the pop. Yeah, definitely. Can he deliver with two outs? The pitch. There he goes again. He show, shoots it into left field, but it'll be caught to end yep. the frame. Brian yep. literally just got under it. And George Washington leaves two runners on. We head to the top of the fourth. Looper on three, Trojans two. James, James, at this point, now we've got number 21. Wait a minute, something's going on. Why is he waving them off, James? Oh, switch pitches, switch pitches. Show the switch pitches now. Yes, they switch pitches. They let them warm up. Why would you give him extra pitches? But okay, whatever. All right, James, we're starting right now. Number 21 for Luperong on the mound. He takes a strike. So, Elvis is down in the count here. As Alain Rodriguez digs in the pitch. And a four, another four-pitch walk given up by Elvis. And now here comes Carbone to possibly make a switch. Yep, it's a switch. Elvis is done. 
He gets through three innings. I told you that he needed to come out. But a tough, tough afternoon for him as he gave up seven walks. But he still pitched a pretty good game. Allowing an offense like Luperon to only three runs. So now at this point, the Team James is warming up the pitch. Yeah. Looks like the mound now uh, warming up for the Let's Trojans. See. So it looks like one of the Trojans relievers. Number 10. So it looks like Miguel Codiado is on the mound for George Washington. Number eight for Luperon coming to the base bat up. And now stepping to the dish will be a pinch hitter, Robinson Polino. Go, James. And the first pitch Got is a strike. Looking. Got him looking for the first strike. Such a command on that throw. Miguel coming into this game with a runner on first and Nobody out. You see as how the count is even one ball, one strike. You see how quick he releases that ball. Like he has so much, like he believes in him. So. And the pitch is popped up and out of play. First strike. The reason why he ran, those who ask him, he thought when he bumped the ball, the ball went forward. So he's taking off. The ball rolled back him, so it's considered just a strike, actually, for a foul ball. And the pitch, a swing and a miss. And a foul tip held on by the catcher as Miguel picks up his first strikeout. <laughs> so now on the mount, on the at the plate is Jose Campos, who hits it to the shortstop for a double play. Wait. He's safe. The runner He's is safe. pointing. Oh, they got him. The Trojans got a double play. The home plate umpire point 
both at second and first base and called them out. Wow. And now it looks like the home plate umpire is giving an explanation to the play. <laughs> check the replay. <laughs> Yo, check. <laughs> check, the, check the replay. Yo, you got to check the replay. Check the replay. So the end so the end of the inning comes down to a called first and second out at double play. And now the manager is still getting an explanation from the home plate umpire about that play. Yo, Remy, you know what you should do? When he had the ball, he had Pieta de la Vaz. I don't think it was. That's my ball. And then what? The first base throw, yes. But he came close to second. I don't think his foot was on the base. You don't have to tag him. So now, George Washington has the one, two, and three batters coming to the plate. Franklin, Winchamill, and Gregory. The do up for George Washington here in the bottom half of the frame. Franklin's night today, or excuse me, Franklin's afternoon today, hit by pitch. First pitch is in the dirt for ball one. And the pitch. Franklin takes ball two. And the crowd here is loving it as Franklin is ahead of the count 2-0. Oh. Unfortunately, at the playback in our, in our, in our system, it was a good call. The 2-0? Oh? Yeah. And it's 3-0. and oh. So three straight pitches off the plate to start the inning. And it's 3-0 and oh to the Trojans' leadoff man. Rio in the dirt and a leadoff walk to begin the frame for George Washington. So Franklin's second time reaching base puts the tying run on first for Winchamil Garcia, who had a single to left field in his last at bat. And you know what? He can do it again too. He's very patient. He's a patient hitter. And that's what I like about him. He waits for his pitches. Here he goes. And the pitch. And it's called a strike. As that pitch catches the plate, Winchamill is down in the count, 0-1. Oh Too sorry. Here comes the 0-1. And the pitch is high and away. 
Good plate appearance from Winston Mill to lay off that pitch. And it's one ball, one strike. Out here they call Winston Mill Rubio out here. As he lays off that pitch right below the knees. And it's two balls and a strike. Now he gets the call from um, the, the skipper on what to do, what he's looking for him to do. Let's see if he executes it. Here it comes, 2-1. Winchamel bunts and fouls it off to the left of the third base side. And it's two balls and two strikes. I feel like what Winchamel's trying to do here is he's trying to bunt trying to get Franklin to second for Correct. Gregory. Got to be careful here because he's down two strikes now. Center field got to come a little closer. Because if he hits it, it's going to be somewhere above second base. And <laughs> now the bench is getting up there as Frank, as, excuse me, Winchamil works the count full to three balls and two strikes. You know what I love when the Trojans bench just like runs up and <laughs> <laughs> and Winchamil with a walk. So back to back walks from Franklin and Winchamil. And the Trojans have first and second with nobody out. I'm gonna tell you right now, Peña right now is not totally happy with the Empire. I'm telling you he's not. He is furious. I guarantee you that he will protest. He's furious. He's going to be like, protest, protest. Yeah, he's, really he's furious. This game means a lot for the, for, for the Heights. This is a big rivalry game. Division rivals. Yes. Feels like a Yankees and Red Sox rivalry. Yeah. <laughs> so now first it's second for Gregory. Here it goes. Will the Trojans be aggressive and steal? And Gregory gets hit by the pitch. And the bases are loaded for one of the most powerful guys in the lineup. Big baby. Ramon Jimenez will step to the plate with the bases loaded and nobody out. Franklin represents the tying run. He's at third. Winchamel represents the go-ahead run. And he is at second. Ramon trying to deliver in the clutch. The pitch. And he gets hit by the pitch. Back-to-back -back hit by pitches. Gregory and Ramon both get hit by a pitch, and that will force home a run. The game is tied. Three, three. And that will go down as an RBI for Ramon. I think that's the fourth batter in this game that to get correct. hit by a pitch. That is correct, by the same pitcher. By the same pitcher. Yes. In my opinion, I want George Washington. They have to. They have to do. They have He's to blow something. He's coming off. Somebody else is warming up. Number twenty-two is warming up. Twenty-two from Lupero is warming up at this time. He hasn't taken. He hasn't taken the ball away from him. That. Oh, that will be the first baseman for the Lupero. Yeah. It will be Ronald Almodzar, the left-handed pitcher. <laughs> so we have a tie game here in the bottom of the fourth. Austin is waiting on deck. I mean, what's going on with Looper on here in the sitting? 
you know, I, I, he's frustrated. He's frustrated with the empire. He doesn't like the call. Uh, at this point, like you said, you brought it out to me, number 22 is the first baseman he's going to pitch now. I don't know what LeBron has as pitching, but at this point, you got to play well now. You know, we knew from even from the beginning that this game was going to be, you know, a very close matchup, and it, it's showing out to be. Yes, it, it really has. Both teams has their faults, but um, right now it's showing the Trojans is uh, are fighters. They fighters, and they always find a way to to win it. Right now, LeBron is giving up too much. But like I said prior to you, when it came to Big Baby, I would walk him. I would walk him and run up for the second person. I would not pitch him. The last time he hit. You know how big baby is, he's a clutch hitter. He is. I would have gotten with his walk, not hit him, walk him. So now, Ramon is at first. Number 18 is Gregory's now. at second. Winchamil is at third. And the pitch. Skips in the dirt. Nothing will do. And Austin takes that pitch for a ball. It's ball one. Count one ball, no strikes. Now Austin lays off that pitch. And All he needs is the base hit. This is Here's the pitch. And it's 3-0. So three straight pitches off the plate. And George Washington looks to tag on another. 3-0 is called a strike. Austin takes that pitch, and it's 3-1. Austin looking for the big hit here to give George Washington the lead. And the pitch. And ball four. A bases loaded walk will bring home Winchamil Garcia. And the Trojans regain the lead. It's now four to three. This is Nick Alon. You know he, he got hit the first time. Second time, he hit that ball straight to second base. And it, it was like a massive hit. He's back on. And now Nicholas fouls it away for strike one. Here he goes. Here's the 0-1. And the pitch is way off the plate. Very high. For ball one. I mean, Nicholas is another power hitter. If you remember the game, he had two homers in two games. Yes, he did. I remember that so, very clear. Yeah, he yes, had two he homers in two games. So he's another guy who can launch something over that wall. 1-1. One, one. Nicholas swings, hits it to deep center field, and that is down. Three runs are going to score. Nicholas is heading to third. Here he comes to the plate. No throw. What an at bat from Nicholas Cabrera. An inside the park grand slam. And the Trojans have busted this one wide open. They lead eight to three. There's no way coming back. Eight to seven. They lead seven to three. Then I told you if he gets a base hit. It's three, three, four, seven. So three plus four. Oh, oh wait, wait, I forgot. It's eight, it's eight. So it's eight to three, my fault. <laughs> yeah, I forgot, yeah. Here it goes. What a blow. Nicholas Cabrera with a inside the park grand slam. And the Trojans have taken an eight to four, eight to three lead. One of the biggest blows of the game. So now 
it seems that we didn't notice that th his picture was actually warming down on the field of the track. He comes off, here comes the picture now. He's only temporary. And the crowd here is fantastically what you want. This crowd for Luperone is stunned. An inning that started off with a walk has given George Washington an eight to three lead. And this team has done this all year long. Just going down the order. And continue. And literally just taking it pitch by pitch. Yes. yes. This is exactly what their manager tells us. This is what their players tell us. They take it pitch by pitch. And when they see the fastball, they hit the fastball. Yes, they do. They counter very well on that. Here we go. As Michael takes a first pitch for a strike. Pitcher. Luperone sounds like a church down there. <laughs> Not a single peep. As Michael takes a pitch way outside. And the count is three balls and a strike to the Trojans catcher. Had a fly out to right field in his last at bat. With also a walk and the pitch as he fouls it straight back. That was, that was not my card, but I'm okay. <laughs> Either, I got an old car. So <laughs> Yo, guy, go pay for that. Yo, guy, go pay for that. Yo, where's the lizard when you need him? <laughs> Yo, the car insurance got to pay for that. <laughs> and the pitch. And a walk. So after the inside the park grand slam from Nicholas, Michael with the leadoff walk. You know what's funny? There are still no outs. Here we go. Here it goes. He looks over to his left. He pitches now. And as Juan Valoria. James, here it goes. Here Take goes a first pitch, pitch off the plate for side. ball one. He looks. The Trojans have a pinch runner at first base, and that one gets away, and the runner will advance to second base. Luperone has still not recorded an out. I mean, at all. At all. At all. So. And now here's the 2-0 pitch to Juan. And it's taken off the plate, and it's 3-0. There's no pitch in this game, I'm Andrew. There's no pitch in this game.
I'm not going to worry about that. And the pitch. And it's off the plate, and another walk. You know what's funny? This game just reminds me of like a game of walks. Oh, please. That's bad, because you can't, you can't stop the bleeding. You, you can. Full house, right? Yeah. It's literally a full house. So digging in with first and second, nobody out is Brian Mello. All right, James, we're back on. Here we go. So here is Brian Mello to the dish with first and second. Nobody out. The pitch is oh, it's a tailing fastball for a strike. That one. Brian looks to keep the foot on the gas. The pitch shows Bun, takes it off the plate. <laughs> As he throws back to second. Testing that the runner will steal, but he did not. And the pitch. As he shows punt, and it results in a foul ball. Oh, yeah, good looks. I mean, I still can't believe that there's literally no outs. I mean, just it's just the plate appearance of this team. It's just unbelievable. I, I don't know how to answer to give to that. It's just right now because Blue, Blue Perron only has the answers either. Yeah. I mean, this team, you know, they, they play again tomorrow. I mean, you know, it's, it's still, you know, it's still about a, a five-run game. As you hear some boost from the crowd, <laughs> full count pitch. Um, I mean, you know, these two teams, they play again tomorrow. You know, George Washington will be the away team. I mean, if you're Luperon, as another walk, and the bases are loaded again, and this time it's Franklin Rodriguez to the plate. Now, Franklin got hit one time, and then the other time he struck out. I still feel, you know, he's struggling on the plate. As Franklin with the bases loaded and nobody out. Franklin, a dribbler down the left field line, but that will result in a foul ball. Ugh. Is dying? All right. So Franklin digs it with the bases loaded and nobody out. The second time George Washington has loaded the bases in this inning. The pitch. Franklin, ooh, a rocket. Another rocket down the left field line that results in a foul ball. As here comes the pitch to Franklin and another pitch high and away. And the count, one ball, two strikes on the George Washington Trojans leadoff man. You know, I just feel like what's going on is 
you know, the loop row pitches, they're just not finding that strike zone. I feel like, especially both teams, they're not getting, <laughs> as he throws the breaking ball. <laughs> Off the plate for a ball. <laughs> And the pitch. Franklin pops it in the right. That ball is really drifting away. Has a lot of doing that. He, he dropped the ball. I, you know what's funny? I had a feeling he was going to drop it. I told you, that win is playing a lot of ground here today. That will result in an error. And it's nine to four Trojans. And there's still nobody out. <laughs> and the look on Gallagher's face is priceless. He is shocked. <laughs> One of the best teams in the division. <laughs> oh man. Finally, Luperto stopped the bleeding.
Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, two. Testing, three. testing. So if we just missed that play, Gregory Mello made the throw to first after a ground ball. I believe, um, James, this, I believe this is the second baseman up now playing. I think it's the second from Luke Perron. Let's see. And the first pitch is Good in the ground. dirt for a ball. I mean, so you're Luperon coming out of that inning. How do you respond? Aggressive. Got to hit. Let's hit. That's it. Hit. Put, hit. Put the ball in play. Put man in braces. RBI. That, <laughs> that thing about long shots, no. Put the ball in play. You want to win. You can't win without hitting. So that's it. Hit. Yeah, also, they got to be more patient. I see they're swinging and missing a lot. I that feel like got to be more patient. But, you know, the Trojans' pitchers are not giving that much either. They ain't giving nothing. You have to work for it. And the pitch is off the plate and a leadoff walk. Or, excuse me, a one-out walk. So, a one-out walk from Ronaldo puts a runner at first base with one out. And now stepping up will be number two, the shortstop, Renee Ferreira, to the plate. Oh. As he takes the first pitch outside for a ball. All right, here it goes. And the pitch. Ooh, that was and close. And it's, ooh, just missed him by a touch. Ball two. They're having a conversation. Man on third, like you said, James. And the pitch is the in ground. the dirt. And it's ball one. So... The count is one ball, no strikes with two outs. For Abrahan Tavares, Luperon's catcher. Here comes the 1 0, and it's in the dirt. And the count's 2-0. Oh. So it's 2-0 and oh on the Luperon's catcher. He looks to deliver some two-out magic as it's a walk. And now number 12, a pinch runner will come out and run. That will be Pedro Peano to, the, to first base.
So O'Neill Polanco digs in with runners on the corners and two out. As the runner looked to steal, Michael with a fake throw, but nothing will do, and it's so in, and it's one and zero. Oh. the 1-0 and he looks at that pitch and the runner will advance to second so O'Neill doing a little Juan Soto shuffle at the plate <laughs> as he lays off that pitch and it's 2-0 and on Luperon's left fielder he got man in third and second as he takes the first pitch strike. And the count is two and one. Sun is definitely going down here in Washington Heights as there's a lot of shade. So O'Neill digs in, but now runners on second and third and two out after a wild pitch. And the pitch is called a ball. Michael trying to place, and the bases are loaded for Luperon. So here we go. Bases loaded, two outs. I like it, but again, doesn't mean anything. Luperon got a hit. Got a hit. I mean, they didn't hit. Those guys got there because of balls. You know? Luperno has not been hitting. Got a hit. Let's see what rule number three can do. This is Angel Miranda to the plate. As he takes the first pitch looking for a strike, and, and it's 0-1. I don't 0 think Angel has done anything in the whole game. He hasn't done anything. Yeah, strikeout victim. Oh one in the dirt. Nice block from Michael to save a run. And it's one ball, one strike to the number nine hitter for Luperon. And now Michael comes out to talk to his pitcher. Now the sun is back on the field again after we had some shade for a while. And the pitch is swung on a ground ball down the left field line, but that will result in a foul ball. And it's one and two now. Okay. So Miguel on the mound trying to get out of this bases loaded jam and not give up no runs. He's walked a couple of batters. Here comes his one, two, and a balk is called. That will force home a run, and Luperon gets one back. It's now four to eight. I think the pitcher did something again that gave him the run, the walk. So these little mistakes can cost the team. Yes. Let's see if Miguel can try to get out of it without giving up anything else. Here's the pitch, high and away, and a walk. And now the bases are loaded once again for Alliant Rodriguez. But again, Perong has not capitalized on the time they've been bases are loaded. They're not hitting. So the home plate umpire is going up to the infield umpire to discuss something. 
And now they walk away from each other. And now he's going to go over to the manager. So it looks like they're sending the runner back to the plate. So a lot of communication between today, between both the managers and the umpires. And the pitch. And ooh, it gets him to his knees. And there's your ball four. So now the bases are loaded. For Eloyo Sanchez. He digs in with the bases loaded and two out with Luperone down four. Now here's the pitch. And it's looked at for the first strike. But yeah, you're right. Luperone's just trying to look for that big hit. You know, Nicholas had the big hit for George Washington. You know, let's see what Mr. Sanchez can do. Pitch. He hits one to deep right center field. Back at the wall. It's gone. It's a grand slam, and the game is tied. Eloyo Sanchez with a grand slam. And this game is all knotted up at eight. Are you kidding me? This game is one for the ages. A grand slam to tie the game. Eight, eight. Is nine? Is nine? Is nine? Is nine? Is nine? How? Wait, mute me. Wait, press it. All right, so we have here a 9-8 score, excuse me. So Lupero with a grand slam gets them four runs in, into the lead. And it's a one-run game. This game is turning out to be one for the ages. As Luperon with a grand slam, and it's 9 8 George Washington. A two out grand slam to, to the deepest part in right field. And a 9 8 game. This game is going to be one dog fight to the backbone, a swing and a miss for the second strike. So sorry for some miscommunication there. Luperon with a grand slam. They lead. They are trailing nine to eight. This was a nine to four game, and all the walks given up lead to things like that for power hitters to do what they do and now the tying run has reached and here comes mr carbone as that might do it for miguel and yup it's it's done that's it a number one ace is coming on the plow one is number one aces pitches coming to the mound You 
<laughs> Damn, this game. I mean. Slam out of it. You know, I mean, this game has turned out to be, you know, one game for the ages. This will probably be talked about for a long time between these two teams. Oh, yeah. yeah. You know, everybody thinking with George Washington up and Luperon just their backs against the wall with, you know, with it's like six outs, seven outs to work with, and they get a grand slam to get right back in the game. I'm very happy for them. But again, I, I, like I told you, I just wanted to see a, a very good game. Before I, the way it started, it started horrible. But you know what? It's part of the gates ball. And right now, everybody's fighting to get the, the W. Vamos gritar. So as a new pitcher starts to warm up, This will be Miguel Polanco coming out of the Trojan bullpen. As he looks to nail out six outs, or excuse me, seven outs, to try and get George Washington a victory. This will probably be one of the toughest victories for George Washington, but they are fighting. As Miguel throws a strike. I'm gonna tell you right now. Anybody from Luperon, I mean from Luperon gonna try to hit, gotta hit this young man. It's gonna be hard. He pitches very well. He has a couple of changes, like you said in the past. This one the number this one the ace in the hole. Oh, and now the runner's gonna advance to second. So the tying run is at second base with two outs. And the pitch, high and away for a ball. Oh, Luperon walking up right now. Everybody's now is making. Luperon is on its feet quiet. on the gate as the umpire calls that one a ball. And the count is three and one. And a foul ball. And Luke Perong is trying to stay on live. He's trying to stay on. They have the tying run at second base. It's 2-2. Two -two. James, 2-2 two -two now. It's 2-2. Two -two. Yep, two balls, two strikes. 2-2. Two -two. So two balls, two strikes, two outs. The pitch is a ground ball to the shortstop. And he makes the play to end the inning. What an inning for Luperon. A grand slam, a two out grand slam. Puts them right back in it. After four and a, th four and, excuse me, five and, five and a third, it's a nine eight game with George Washington up. We hit the bottom of the fifth. We'll be back.
back, everybody, as um, the children take the plate. And Big Baby on the plate, James. Big Baby on the plate. So now Ramon Jimenez takes, the, takes it to the plate as he takes the first pitch outside for ball one. Pitch to Ramon is taken outside, and it's 2-0. and So a 2-0 count to Ramon, and pitch is swung on and hit to the shortstop. Throw to first is in time, and there's your first out. Here's Austin to the dish, and he takes a first pitch strike. Count is 0-1. Oh, 1 is swung on again to the shortstop. And two quick outs. It's two quick ground outs to the shortstop. And there's your second out. And now coming to the plate is Nicholas Cabrera, who had the inside the park grand slam in his last at bat, took the fastball, hit it out to left center field, and the ball did everything, and he did the running, the pitch. As he fouls it off and out of play. Here's the pitch, and that one sails away for ball one. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. Nicholas on the ground, and another ground out to the shortstop, and he is out. So, wow, the shortstop got to the top of the sixth inning. It's still a 9-8 Trojans lead. And the first pitch is a strike. So after, Tro after the Trojans going down one, two, three in the bottom of the fifth, 
up steps Christian Baroka Bar to the plate. As the count is 0 and 2. Pitch is swung on and foul to the right and out of play. Here comes the 0 2. And the pitch is outside, and the count is one ball, two strikes. Miguel trying to get big outs here for George Washington. As he takes the pitch downstairs for a ball. So it's two balls and two strikes on the third baseman and a swing and a miss. He struck him out, powered the fastball right by him. There's your first down. I mean, this is the custom that we're seeing from Miguel, just like this fastball and this fastball command, you know. As the first pitch is fouled away to the back of home plate. left-handed batter 1-1 one, one. breaking ball nice catch from Michael to save death yeah <laughs> that's, a t that's a nice stop he's one of the elite on the team now here comes the 2-1 pitch now and a fastball got him looking and Luperon's bench did not like that call they all jumped up, all in sync. <laughs> and a foul ball chopped to the right of home plate. This game has turned into arguments with the umpire. Umpires advancing runners, pitchers walking batters. And he reaches out and grounds it to the shortstop. And he did not make the play. So that will go down as an infield single. And Luperone has a base runner with one out. I think his speed got him down the line there. <laughs> Yeah. So now stepping to the plate will be Renee Ferrer, the shortstop, who made three good plays in the last inning, and all three ground balls came right to him. So he gets out. So let's see if he can put something with the barrel of the bat, the pitch, as he takes it for a strike. You know, this team, this team is right behind George Washington in the ranks. As he hits one to deep center field, that will be caught by Franklin right in front of the soccer goal out there in center field. 
What a play from Franklin. Kind of had to deal with that soccer goal out there. Probably if it was hit any, any harder, I feel like the ball would have kind of hit the soccer goal out there in center. But what a catch from Franklin. And there's two outs. So now stepping to the dish will be Mr. Taveras, the catcher, as he looks to get on base and keep this inning alive for Luperon. The first pitch is high and away. The throw to second, the runner is going. He is safe. So a stolen base. And now Luperon has a runner in scoring position with two outs. This game is, like I said, it's come down to also stolen bases too and see which team is able to drive each other home. Here's the pitch. And it's called a strike. It's even, one ball, one strike. It's funny, Miguel is usually a starter, but he's coming here out of the bullpen after the grand slam. And he's gotten big outs. And now, Back-to-back -back stolen bases. Gregory thought he got the runner. Now the umpire calls time. And now Luperon has the tying run 90 feet away. So a base hit would tie the game. The pitch, a swing and a miss. For the second strike, and it's two balls and two strikes now to Luperon's catcher. Pitch is fouled away and into the construction site. So number 12 has his leadoff pitch. He missed the corner. The bench for George Washington really wanted that call. And it's a full count now, three balls and two strikes. Both benches for both teams are showing lots of emotion here in this one. So here we go, three balls, two strikes, two outs. Pitch, swing and a miss, he struck him out. And Luperon leaves the tying run at third. What a big pitch from Miguel. We head to the bottom of the frame, bottom of the six. It is 9-8.
So now after a scoreless frame pitched by Miguel Polanco, Michael, the Trojans catcher, digs in. <coughs> Bench is getting into it as Mike swings and misses. And the count is even, one ball, one strike. Now here comes, 1-1 one, one. is a tailing fastball caught the inside part of the plate. And it's one ball, one strike. Excuse me, one ball, two strikes. Here comes the 1-2. One, and a swing and a pop-up to the stand. And no, lands on the track. The wind looked like it held that one back. <laughs> so Michael digs in here with the bases empty. He's leading off here. And the pitch. Breaking ball, no. The bench really wanted that call. And it's two balls and two strikes. Two two is high and away, and it's three balls and two strikes. So a good plate appearance from Mike, battling from a one and two count to now three balls and two strikes. As the Trojans look for some insurance runs before we head to the top of the seventh. Pitch. Swing and a miss. Michael strikes out and slams his bat to the ground. Because he really wanted that pitch, and there's your first out of the frame. Stepping into the box will be Juan Valoria to the plate. First pitch is hit to the opposite field, down the third base. High throw got him at first, and there's two out. So Juan with an opposite field ground ball to third base. And he's a ground out victim. And now the number nine hitter, Juan, excuse me, Brian Mello digs in. And the first pitch is hit to left field. That will be foul. So here's Brian Mello to the dish. As here comes the 0-1. And Brian swings up the middle. Nice play from the second baseman. But an off throw and Brian will reach. So an infield single for Brian. And that means Franklin Rodriguez will get a chance to bat here in the bottom of the frame. After the first two guys going down, going down in the inning, Brian is able to reach for shortstop is there to make the catch. And that will end the frame. George Washington looks for the three final outs. They look for a gritty win. It looks like they will go with Miguel Polanco to get the last three outs of the game. Buckle your seatbelts, ladies and gentlemen. We're heading to the top of the seventh.
We'll be back more with Trojans baseball. So here comes the 0-1 pitch now. And first two fastballs gets O'Neill Polanco looking. He is one gritty batter. He could definitely get into a pitcher's head. Up the middle, M Miguel couldn't make the play. Winchamil, what a play! He got him! What a play by Winchamil Garcia. As he gets him just by the step for the first out. Pitch is oh, off the plate. Angel Miranda digging in. The pitcher. Pitch. It's away and off the plate. And the count is 2-0. and oh. Now here comes the 2-0 now, and it's 3-0, so three pitches off the plate for Miguel. As Gregory comes in to tell him a little something, tell him how to attack the hitter. Brian and Winchamill are playing deep. Winchamill's playing about into a right to right center. As Angel takes a strike, Winchamill is playing about deep of second base into right field. And Melo's playing the left center. And a one out walk. So he passes the baton as Angel with a one out walk. And now the hitter coming to the plate will be Sandel Nunez. Luperone has the tying run at first base in a 9-8 to eight game with one out in the seventh. George Washington looks to close this game out. And the pitch. He got him looking for the first strike. Right at the knees and a good position for Miguel and the first strike. Oh, man, look. 
pitch is shot into right center field. That will go to the gate. The runners will stop at second and third. And Luperon has the tying run at third and the go ahead run at second. Are you kidding me? Nicholas, a good job getting the ball back in quickly. Luperon's hitters are coming in the clutch here as they have the tying run at third and the go ahead run at second with one out. And now coming to the plate is John Jimenez. And now Michael and Gregory will come to Miguel to chat with him. Now here comes the home plate umpire now. As he tries to break up the conversation or looks to chat and everybody walks away. So here is John, and he takes a first pitch off the plate for ball one. It's one and oh. Both dugouts, first baseline and third baseline are standing. The runner is coming home, and he is tagged out. What is he doing? The runner gets tagged out, and the Looper Road fans are stunned. The runner gets tagged out. The infield umpire is looking out, and there's two outs. Yo, get your, yo, get your care. Get your care. <laughs> the runner decided to come home. And he got tagged out. And the Luperon fans are shocked. As Luperon had second and third with one out. <laughs> the pitch. Check swing. Did he go? No. It's ball one. Or excuse me, ball three. So John takes strike one, excuse me, st yeah, strike one. And the count is three balls and one strike. What a disastrous play from Luperon. They had second and third with one out and the runner from third decided to come home. The pitch, swing and a miss. And Luperon is down to their final strike, final out. What an intense game here in George Washington. Between the two most rival teams. This feels like a Yankees and Red Sox game. The 3-2. Ball four. The runner steals third. Ouch. No, it's nothing because they took a walk. They walked him, yeah. So here we have Luperon with first and third with two outs. The tying run is 90 feet away. And stepping to the plate will be Jose Campos. This has been a nail biter game for both teams. Here comes the first pitch and they will let the runner take second. So now, Luperon has the tying run at third and the go ahead run at second. 
pitch. He did not get the corner. And the dugout for George Washington is frustrated. As it looks like Carbone is just telling them to just take it easy. As the count is 2-0 and now on Jose. Here comes the 2-0. He takes the strike. And the fans here are loving that call. This game has just been absolutely insane. The pitch on the ground. Brian bobbles the ball. Throws the first. He, did he get him? No. He did not get him. Brian had a little bobble with the ground ball coming right to him. And this game is tied. Nine to nine in the seventh. Are you kidding me? Brian had a little bobble out there in short. Tie it. They were down eight to three. What? Eight to three. And they have come back to tie it. Starting with a two out grand slam. And now it looks like pitching for George Washington will be Ramon Jimenez, AKA Big Baby. But what a game here. Luperon was down to their final out. They were down to their final out. Brian had a little joggle. And now the bench is trying to get the fans out here cheering. It's now Lou Barone as Ramon is getting some warm up pitches. Lou Barone has first and third with two outs. They have the tying run, they, excuse me, they have the go ahead run 90 feet away. Probably been one of the best games of the season. We're coming on about three hours since first pitch. This game started about 4, 4, 10. It is coming on seven o'clock Eastern time. This has been one of the longest games of the season for George Washington. We have a guaranteed bottom of the seventh ahead of us. Will it be Luperon ahead or will it be a tie game? Michael directing traffic on the infield. Ramon, pitch. Throw to second or they just throw to first. And the runner is doing a little dance between, between the little dirt mound and the base. And a little troll. Pitch. Missed the plate. And the dugout is furious for George Washington. Luperon, on the other hand, is loving it. It's a 1-1 count, and now the pitch is fouled away. And now it's one ball, two strikes now on Christian. He has second and third with two outs. The pitch is fouled away and out of play. This is the fourth pitcher coming to the on the mound for George Washington. And it all started with Elvis. The pitch has popped up. He is under it. 
and lets it go out of play. And the coach is wondering what was going on there. So Ramon with second and third and two outs for Christian. Here's the pitch. Breaking ball is hit in the left field. That will get over the head of the left fielder. Christian clears the bases and now a joggle. Christian with a two run triple. And Loop Road has taken an 11 to 9 lead. Are you kidding me? This crowd absolutely stunned about what Luperon has been able to do here. And all the Luperon fans in attendance here today have been on their feet and loud. Wow. And a swing and a miss from Ronald. This all started with a two out grand slam to get this team back in it. Luperon has left base runners on throughout the whole game. They were down nine to eight with two outs in the top of the seventh inning. They came back to tie it and then a two run triple from Christian Baroya has given Luperon an 11 to nine lead. Wow. And the pitch. And a swing and a miss. And that will end the inning. What a game. And had a nine to eight lead coming into the top of the seventh. Three runs scored for Luperon. And the big blow, a two run triple by Christian. We will come back to you with the top of the eighth, the, excuse me, the bottom of the seventh inning. George Washington has to push across two runs, three runs to win the game. And it'll be Winchamil Garcia to lead it off.
So here we go. Winchamil Garcia steps in and he takes the fir first pitch in the dirt for ball one. So George Washington on the verge of their first loss of the year, but knowing this team, they do not quit. We talk to this team every day and they are grinders and fighters. As Whit Jamil having a nice plate appearance here. As Winchamill is ahead of the count, 2-0 and here. Gregory Mello is on deck for the Trojans. 2-0 is called a strike. And it's two balls and a strike to the Trojans' second baseman. Pitch fouled away. And the count is now even, two balls and two strikes on Winchamill. The wind is really blowing in here, as you can probably see from the dirt. I know it's kind of tough to see, but the wind is blowing in. As the dirt is blowing to the gate, here's the 2-2 as Winchamill fouls it off and over the construction site out by the school. As the Trojans try to do the scare, Winchamel pops it up. The third baseman is there, one away. <laughs> These two teams, the Trojans and Luperon, they are rivals. I've said this so many times in this broadcast. They are rivals. Pitch off the plate. 1-0 to Gregory Mello, the third baseman. And the count 1-1. One one. Everybody's mostly standing here. Here comes the pitch, and Gregory pops it up. The first baseman is there, and it'll be a foul ball. So Gregory Mello is at the plate here as he looks to get get some magic here for the Trojans as they trail this game 11 to 9. Here comes the pitch. A breaking ball that kind of just spits over Gregory's head. And the count is even, two balls and two strikes. So Gregory's at the dish, Ramon Jimenez is on deck. 2-2, two -two. it gets away, skits over the catcher's glove and it's a full count now, three balls and two strikes. So here comes the 3-2 pitch now to Mello. He takes ball four. And now the tying run will come to the plate in Ramon Jimenez. The Trojans and Gregory Mello look to come back. 
Ramon is the tying run. 11 to 9, Luperon. Here in the bottom half of the frame in the seventh. Ramon looks to get on base. The pitch. Ball one, up and, a hot, up and away. If you're George Washington coming into this plate appearance, be patient. Look for your pitch and just let the ball do damage. The Trojans tried to scare, and it's 2-0. and So here comes the 2-0 pitch now, and Ramon takes strike one. And now the manager wants to say something to the home plate umpire. Looks like they're discussing something. I wish we knew. Now Carbo comes halfway down the line, but nothing will do. So Ramon ahead of the count now, two balls and a strike. And the pitch. And it's in the dirt. And Ramon having a good plate appearance here. It's three balls and one strike to the Trojans pitcher and first baseman today. Pitch. Ramon swings and misses on the fastball. And there's your second strike out with three balls, two strikes, one out. Mellows on first, top, or excuse me, bottom of the seventh, 11 to nine, Luperon is our status here this evening. The three two is fouled away and out of play. So Ramon digs in. Here's the 3 2. He hits one to center field. A base hit. Mello will stop at second base. So a nice hard hit single for Ramon. And the tying runs are on base. And the winning run will step onto the plate now. Will be Austin. Payano. <laughs> this game will never. <laughs> so a nice hard hit single for Ramon. Now, if you're George Washington, do you steal? Do you put second and third? Austin will dig in the left fielder to look for the probably the biggest hit of his high school career playing on this team. They are leaving Ramon at first. The Trojans are not going with a pinch runner to try and steal some bags. Austin looks to deliver here. And the pitch. And he looks at strike one. Austin look like he looks like he's coming into that bat being very patient here after taking that first pitch. As he calls time. Here's the 0-1, and it's high and away, and the count is even one ball, one strike. Everybody's, everybody out here say, let's go throw Johns. <laughs> Crowd very loud here, 1-1 one, one is off the plate. 
and it's two and one. <laughs> Anybody who's hanging on here to this game, we appreciate you. Everybody who watched this game, we appreciate you. Austin takes a pitch outside and it's three balls and one strike. Everybody is holding their breath here. Raven has to, the 3-1 is off the plate and the bases are low. Nicholas can be a hero. <laughs> Nicholas will dig in with the bases loaded. If you remember earlier in this game, he had a inside the park home, excuse me, inside the park grand slam. The tying runs are at second and third. The manager will come to the mound. Number 24, Pena. Leo is giving some inspiration words to Nicholas on how to approach. So now the catcher, number 10, will come out and talk to Mr. Martinez. Abraham Tavares is catching for Justin Martinez. Nicholas can be a hero today. He digs it with the bases loaded and one out. The tying runs are at second and third. The pitch skips in the dirt. And Nicholas with a little shimmy. <laughs> Doing the little Juan Soto shimmy. As he takes the pitch in the dirt, the count is one and oh. Here's the one oh, two and oh. So two straight pitches off the plate. As for one of the most powerful hitters in this lineup, right under Ramon is Nicholas. He has the tying runs on second and third. Here comes the 2-0 pitch to Cabrera. He looks at it for strike one. And some chance from the fans out here. 
as it's two and one. Here's the pitch. He swings, hits it to third, out at first, and safe at second bait. Or, or they got him, yes, the game is over. A double play to end the game. Nicholas tried to slide it to first base, but that will do it. And George Washington sadly suffers their first loss of the season in one of the most insane games of the season. Nicholas tried to slide it into second base, but he hit a rocket to the third baseman, a step on third for the out there, and then the throw to first, and that will do it. Luperon, Luperon hangs on, they take an 11 to nine win. And now Luperon is cheering on their fans who have come in here in this attendance. What a gritty win for Luperon. But the Trojans will be back at it tomorrow against Luperon. They look to get some revenge. We will look, we will be back to do some closeouts as George Washington suffers their first loss, 11 to nine. We'll be back to close things out from Washington Heights. According to the app, it says the Trojans at 10. Yeah, they made that. that they made the score. The last score, they made it. Yeah. But they got out in the first play. In the first. In the first they did, yeah. uh, thank you so much for attending. Sorry for the issue with the game earlier with the connection problem, but we were back at it. And wow, what a crazy game this happened. Um, of course, the cameras already shut down. But GG to both teams. What an incredible game. Let's save it up for the chat. The chat is going crazy so we definitely gonna go back at it again uh gw suffered the first loss of the season but you know it's not the end for them and a good showing for lupo on out here the fans the youtube comments from lupo on fans great shout out for you guys for attending and watching we appreciate all the love yo be back at it tomorrow it's gonna be another great one Liberal peace look, out guys look to, to get their way. <laughs> peace out Just go here.